of the biggest threats to coastal access in the next decades really is sea level rise and the effects of that, our beaches washing away. That's gonna be one of our biggest challenges for our coastal communities is really how do we navigate that while ensuring that the public still has access to these spaces. I sit on the board of this organization called the San Onofre Parks Foundation and we're watching sea level rise happening on certainly a yearly basis and I keep thinking that if this beach is here in 10 years, I'll be surprised. The state now is calling it a crisis, a coastal crisis. Our knee-jerk reaction as sea levels rise and coastal storms increase is to armor our coast with seawalls and rock revetments, and unfortunately, that blocks the natural processes that our coasts otherwise would be taking in order to respond to our changing coastal conditions with climate change and sea level rise. And those cities that have critical facilities and housing on their coast are really gonna feel it. We do have some of that. We have some of our critical city facilities on the coast. They may have to move. At a certain point, you can't guard it with a wall. The ocean's gonna come and get it. You have something that's known as the coastal squeeze where you're developing all along the coastline and with that hard structure you're blocking the natural transport of sediment and that transport of sediment is what helps the beaches to nourish and maintain themselves. You all of a sudden have a situation where beaches are disappearing. Parts of Ventura County, Santa Barbara County, certainly Los Angeles County, people are right up on the ocean and when the ocean's coming it's going to take out those houses. It's already taking out the highway. If you look at some of the projections for climate change to sea level rise, we could lose a third or more of our beaches. That means we could also lose a third or more of our surf breaks. By and large, Californians want to preserve their public beaches into the future. And sometimes that's at odds with residential homeowners. They don't want to be told they might have to move one day. If you don't do managed retreat, you're gonna lose it anyway, so let's think about it. A lot of people think putting up rocks or armoring the coast is going to be the resolution. At some point, that actually hurts your ability to save your facilities. It's gonna come down. So maybe not tomorrow or in 10 years, but it's gonna come down. So we have to think of the future in all of these things we do. The question is, can we adapt to some of these big challenges? Can we adapt to the need to change how we manage our human affairs on the coast, our roads, our train lines, our hotels and motels, our private residences, our campgrounds. Can we figure out ways to equitably change? Can we reduce our carbon emissions so that sea level rise is not as dramatic as these worst case scenarios, which assume that everything goes on as business as usual. I think it's clear that, you know, on all these levels, business as usual cannot continue if we want to protect the California coastal environment and ecosystems and ensure access for all. Everybody is going to have to come to terms with the fact that in the coming years, we're all going to have to let go of things that we love, whether that's private property or that's public coastal commons. So these are very, very difficult questions. This is some of the most valuable real estate in the world, not just in terms of the financial value of that real estate, but the emotional, the cultural, the historical, the family value, our identity as Californians the coast is part of that, even if we don't live by the coast. The whole concept of sea level rise, it's really difficult for someone to understand if they don't have a connection to the beaches and these areas that will be affected by it. But once they can see for themselves that this beach, in fact, will be greatly diminished or even lost, that then moves something inside of them to want to make a difference and to act. I don't think the coast is going away but it's changing and it's going to change dramatically and how we as Californians deal with that is going to determine the future of coastal environments and coastal access.